Hi guys, it's Inka. I took Lion's Man during my university studies for about 90 days because I wanted to see if it could improve my memory and focus. So I had read scientific studies and articles on it and how it can possibly improve brain health, focus and mood. So I wanted to test if I would see these same differences as well. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what was my experience with Lion's Mane and why until this day it has remained one of my favorite nootropics and supplements. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Inka Land and I have a master's in neuropsychology and I make content on brain health and performance, self-care, mental well-being and longevity. So I want to first share my own experience with using Lion's Mane and then quickly recap the most important science that's related to this mushroom and how it might explain also my experience with it. So if you want to know about the benefits and science, uh, keep watching until the end of the video. So here's my experience with lion's mane. So I noticed two main benefits and then one, I, I wouldn't say that's a, like a downside, but one thing to keep in mind. So firstly about the benefits, I noticed that it did support my memory and learning significantly. It wasn't immediate. I think I had used it for about two weeks to a month to notice this difference, but I could clearly link it to this lion's mane's use because now this day I've experimented with lion's mane every now and then for about six years or so. And every time I use it, I notice that my brain is a bit sharper and I don't have to revise as much the material that I hear or read. And when I was studying at uni, I had developed this routine in which I would learn some information in the morning, I would revise it in the evening, and the next morning I would self-test myself with open questions to see if I really internalized that material. So after I started using Lion's Mane, I noticed I didn't have to revise as much as I did before to really memorize and recall that material that I've learned. Also, I noticed that it was easier for me to sort of like link different ideas together and brainstorm on different topics. So I would say that in a sense, it also helped me with creativity and brainstorming. Now, of course, this might also be, you know, the accumulating knowledge when you are studying. But I noticed that when I wasn't using Lion's Mane, I felt very different. Uh, it's like Lion's Mane would have added a little bit of extra boost to these abilities. The second benefit I noticed was a significant boost in my energy levels and my mood. So in general, I had a little bit more zest and thrive to do things. And this was a great feeling because, you know, I was studying and I had two jobs at the time. So this extra energy was definitely welcomed. So this was a little bit different feeling that using something like caffeine or rhodiola, which usually gives me like an immediate buzz and immediate like a boost in energy for a couple of hours. This was more like this kind of gradual experience of improved general energy. So I also mentioned like a downside of it. So this was just my experience that when I used or when I increased the dose a little bit, so I got maybe a bit too much boost of an energy. So it really came down to just tweaking and finding the right dose of using lion's mane. I've noticed some studies also link lion's mane into increased calmness and reduced anxiety. So now I don't know if it directly made me feel calmer or reduced anxiety when I was using it, but what I did notice was that I was able to handle a lot more pressure and stress so my stress resilience became better. So my conclusion is that although I didn't do any, you know, randomized control experiments or I didn't do like a crossover thing during my studies because I didn't really want to bombard my study result with this self experiment, I noticed that every time I went off from Alliance Main and back on, there was a significant boost in my memory and energy levels when I was using Alliance Main. Also, the general outcome of my studies was great, but would this have happened without lion's mane? I think yes, because I just generally studied a lot. But would I have had such energy levels and mood and memory without it? I think probably not. So whenever I went off from lion's mane, I felt a little bit like less sharpness in my brain and a little bit less ability to handle a lot of pressure. Now I've been using lion's mane on and off. I don't use it all the time because I don't feel like I need it. I feel it's more of 
this kind of seasonal supplement for me that I use usually when I want to boost my memory. So for example, when I'm learning a lot of new information or when I'm preparing for a presentation or a talk or something like that, or I just have a long to-do list and I want to boost my brain a little bit. It's one of the supplements that I personally like a lot and I have good experience with. And how I use it, I use both powder and the tincture form. Usually the powder form, I just actually add it into my coffee. I put a little bit like a half or one teaspoon of it to my coffee. It gives a nice nutty flavor, makes the coffee taste a little bit round and soft. So I really like how it combines with flavor of the coffee. But I mean, essentially you can also just put it to a smoothie or whatever. You can also use the tincture form of it. So I like to use it in the morning because it does boost energy a little bit. So that, that's why I don't think that evening is the most optimal time to take it, at least for me. But in the morning it works great. Okay, so this was my experience with Lion's Mane. Let's look at what does the actual science say about it. Lion's Mane contain at least two bioactive ingredients that affect the nervous system and neurological health. Hericinums and erinacins. In animal studies, they have been shown to increase nerve growth factors, which are beneficial for neuronal growth. For example, they help neurons to mature and become part of functional networks in the brain. So it helps to form new neural connections, which is the mechanism of neuroplasticity and learning. Lion's mane have, for example, shown to affect in areas like the hippocampus, which is the key area for memory formation and learning. The compounds may also improve catecholamine neurotransmitters, so noradrenaline, dopamine and serotonin, which might also explain some of the effects on energy levels, attention and mood. So here was my experience and the science of lion's mane mushroom. Let me know if you're interested to hear about other nootropics and brain supplements. And I would also be interested to hear if you have your own experiences with lion's mane mushroom. And if you want to learn more about brain health and performance, self-care, well-being and longevity, subscribe to this channel. And see you soon.